so hello 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 um this is try number two would you believe i went live on the fusion mineral paint uk page <laughs> i doubt fusion will ever let me do this again anyway let me introduce myself my name's kate and i'm a fusion mineral paint stockist in the uk and my page or my shop is called color me katie so i'm here today um to show you the new fusion crackle glaze the crackle texture is actually what it's called that's back to front brenda hello happy birthday for the other day um so i just want to show you this now i'm not professing to be an expert hello sarah pelly am i on the right page <laughs> Um, I'm not, you know, saying that I'm an expert on this. I think with all new Fusion products, the best thing to do is literally to have a play around with them and try them out for yourself and see what you think. So get yourself a board, get yourself the product. Hello, Cindy. Um, and just, just try these things out. You know, you don't know until you have a go what you can do with them. So my idea was that I thought that this crackle texture would go really well with all these moulds that we have on the market at the moment. Because, you know, you add moulds to a boring piece of furniture to make it look older. And I had this idea that the crackle texture on top of these moulds would just add like an extra dimension. Hello, Chicky. Um, so, um, I don't know if you know about these moulds. There's lots of different ones on the market. So I'm going to show you like a few different versions. So we have the redesign with Prima, these ones, um, IOD. And basically you fill up these little pockets with their clays, or I actually use hot melt glue because I like to squeeze that in and then I actually use the hot melt glue to then stick it to my furniture. And it stays flexible, which is great because you can bend it around legs and things. I will show you in a minute. And then there is another product, fairly new on the market, which is called Would You Bend. So that is literally made out of some kind of wood compound and you heat it up and things like, you know, it comes in a roll like that, these trims, you heat them up and then you can add them to the edge of your furniture to give yourself a bit more detail. So those are really good too. So I had this really boring Mexican pine um, console table. You know, the ones that you get with the little black studs on them? You know the ones I mean? With these sort of things on them everywhere. Um, you know, they're made out of a nice piece of wood, but they're certainly of no, of no age. And it just seems like a good idea to do something with them. And it's just a nice piece of furniture, I thought. So I have added a load of these um, trims to it, and we'll do that in a minute. But first I wanna show you um, how to apply. Now, I've been playing around with this. The thicker you put the medium on, the... Um, bigger the cracks will be. So I have been experimenting with brushes and experimenting with, you know, sort of spatula type things. So you literally can pour it straight from the container, or obviously you can be much cleaner and tidier than me and put it in another little container and transfer it. So this is an old picture frame with a pretty naff picture in it, which I'll probably take out. And I've added some molds, as you can see. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going to pour some of the crackle texture on and I'm using a Stalmeister brush. Don't worry, it washes out really well because I tried this earlier. And I like to use this because these get in all the nooks and crannies. So I'm literally going to just dab. And also I think it creates a nice bit of texture. It looks a bit more authentic um, because obviously crackles aren't going to be consistent in size. So I just like to, you know, spread it about, but don't go too thin, don't go too thick, because that's where the cracks will form. So the thicker it goes on, the more, uh, the bigger the cracks are. So you could use something like this if you wanted to get some really big cracks on. So I did um, a board yesterday. Now I wasn't very consistent at all with the way I did it. I, um, as you can see, so this actually has got twilight geranium painted underneath because I wanted to see the color come through the cracks. So you can see, this isn't a great example, but you can see the different thicknesses of the cracks and that's because of the thickness of the medium. So what I did, um, I stuck some mold and this has been left for 24 hours. You're meant to leave it to dry. 
you probably could speed it up with a hairdryer. I did that. Um, hello, Laurie. <laughs> Hope I'm not messing up your page by being here today. <laughs> so anyway, um, there's a couple of different ways that you can add another layer of you know, authenticity to it. And one of the ways is to use um, a wax because obviously the wax is going to sit in all those nice little cracks. So this here is the um, antiquing furniture wax. So the pots are small, but it's like butter and it goes on for miles. So what I've done, you can literally just rub it in to the cracks. And it also gives, you know, just ages the whole thing. So I'm sorry, it's not a great example in the sense of, you know, what the board looks like. I'll show you a better example in a minute. And then the other thing that you can do is obviously you can use a glaze. That's my favorite is to use the glaze. So Fusion have this brilliant glaze. It's clear. You can, I know that's back to front. You can add any color to it. So you could make a white glaze, a black glaze. It looks really good with metallics because it just adds that shimmer. Um, the one thing I'd point out, if you use glaze on a surface that's gonna get a lot of traffic is the glaze itself isn't as strong as normal paint. So you will need to put tough coat on top of that. So what I did was I made up some glaze and what I've done is I've just used a little bit of black. So it's one part four, one part paint, one to four, one part paint to three to four parts of glaze. Hello, Laurie. And I just mix it up in a little container. And again, for this, I really like to use the um, Stanley's to pointed because it just gets into all those nooks and crannies. So I just did this earlier and I'm literally just rubbing it into all the areas. Now you haven't got to panic with glaze because glaze stays open for a long time. So what you do is you get it into all the areas and then you wipe back to reveal as little or as much as you want. So can you see, the more I'm rubbing, the more we're going back to the original color of white. But, so it's great because it's sat in those nooks, but look at the extra dimension that you're getting with the crackle as well. So this is the thing I think about, um, if you're trying to make your pieces of furniture look old, you need to build it up in layers and experimenting all the way. So I wanted to show you the drawer that I did. So this is this, to go on this console table. So this is this Mexican pine drawer and I've added a wood you bend in there. And it still looks fairly ordinary and it very much looks like a drawer with a wood you bend plonked on it. <laughs> so I then added some crackle glaze, the crackle texture. I can't keep calling it crackle glaze. Crackle texture. And again, I applied that using the Stalmista brush and just literally just spread it around and got it in all the bits and pieces. And then left it for 24 hours to dry. And then I've added some glaze. So what I've done, again, one to four. I've put it in all the areas and you work it in to all the nooks and crannies. I was saying earlier, did you see um, one of the other merchants, we call her Miss Cherry Pie, um, was on here last week showing loads of the different glazes and the combinations. And she was also using the, the stain and finishing oil. You could use that on here as well. So now I'm just gonna wipe back and reveal you know, more of the detail and more of the crackle. See, that's what's great about the glaze. It stays open for ages. So you just rub and rub and rub. I wanna show you a close up now of that, how much detail there is in there now. So just the crackle on top of the wood and then with the glaze added, yeah, I think that looks, uh, looks gorgeous. It really looks like an old piece of furniture. So that was kind of it, really. I was also going to show you what I was going to do with the table. I really like that. The other thing you could do as well, once that's dry, you could go back. 
you could get one of the metallic waxes and you could go back through and highlight some of these pieces so like the pearl or um you know like the copper or the rose or something and then you just adding more and more layers is what seems to really bring a piece up and give it some age and dimension so hopefully you can see this table here so again you know this is this mexican pine table i've added trims i don't know if you can see i've actually put um so this is would you bend trim this is some iod and primers i've actually wrapped them around the legs and then I've painted it. This is putty, which I absolutely adore. It's a really good sort of neutral, um, I wouldn't say it's beige, I wouldn't say it's grey. I would say it's a grey, it's that kind of in-between colour. So, hello there. Um, and then I, uh, what my idea was to just in some of the areas add some of this crackle uh, texture to it, just to give it a bit more dimension and a bit more age. And then after that, go back over and glaze the whole thing. So, I mean, literally what you can do is get your crackle texture, put it in a, in a pot, and then, because I think it'd be impossible to crackle glaze the whole thing. And I think actually in reality, that's not how it would be. So I would just go along and just add a few bits, sort of, you know, in the corner, um, on the top of the table here, maybe in the edges. Now this is white. So what we're gonna to have to do afterwards is we're gonna to have to carefully add, a, I'm gonna to have to go back and carefully add a bit more putty on top of that white crackle to tone it back to the putty color. And then on, when that's all dry, I would go over the whole thing with a glaze. So I hope that makes some sense. But you can just obviously just leave it as it is in the white. You can experiment and maybe, you know, use some um, really unusual colours behind it. You know, perhaps something like an azure to get a more kind of modern look. If you painted something in azure and then put the crackle texture on top, you love putty. Yeah. Um, so you could put, you know, paint something in azure, put the crackle um azure colored which could be really really fun you know you could go for a hole completely that would give you a kind of like a nice beachy effect so that's that so quite simple really so i think everyone's got this in stock now we haven't had it in the uk for very long and like i say i'm still experimenting with it and just having a play about with it you you know it's and that's what i would suggest you do with any of these new products get a board have a play about because, you know, if I hadn't have done that, although that looks absolutely dreadful, imagine if I'd done that on a piece of furniture, you need to experiment with it and, you know, just play about and see what implements you like to use to apply it with, you know, a spatula, a brush, let it dry and test it out and then go back and use it on a piece of furniture. But I think you'll agree that looks pretty amazing. So I just want to show you the crackle again along with all that i absolutely love it so the combination crackle texture a mold and then a glaze or waxes and i think you'd have a really nice piece so i don't know if i've done long enough but i don't know if you realized i actually did this live first of all on the fusion uk page <laughs> so if you haven't seen me once today you might see me twice so any questions just Pop them in the comments below and we will answer them. And as I said, um, we've got it in the UK, so most of the stockists have got it now. So if you want to, you know, go around and um, have a look at your local stockists and see if they've got it or check online, if you go to the Fusion Mineral um, page.com, where to buy and have a look and um, that will put you in touch with your nearest stockist. So anyway, it's Friday and I'm all flustered because I did this all wrong by going on the wrong page. <laughs> That's life. So anyway, I hope you learned something. Um, give it a go and let us know how you got on. I'd really like to see what you've done. So there you go. See you later. Have a lovely weekend, people. Bye.